is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be building the best squad right now in NBA 2K23, my team. Like, if I would have never gotten quaint, uh, never gotten banned, and let's say that I, I had one last chance to qualify, what is the best squad you could build to give you guys uh, the best chance to do that? Now, we're going to be going over and covering that in this video. Now, before I dive any further into that, guys, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think it is better to run 10-man lineups than 13-man lineups. Now, why? Well, the main thing for me is so your substitutions don't get messed up. Because in quals, it's all about, you know, getting quits uh, as fast as possible. You know, not, you know, slowing the tempo, uh, the pace of play down. And for me specifically, when I run more than 10 mans and, and they don't put the right lineups and stuff like that, that's where things get a little bit crazy. So we're only going to have 10 people. And these are going to be 10 of the best guys in the entire game. Started it, started it off here at that point guard position. Is there Was there ever a doubt, guys? Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson. I'd go as far as to say this. Even if you can't afford the Galaxy Opal Magic, just get the Pink Diamond Magic. I mean... To me, he's still a top three point guard in the game. Obviously, Galaxy Opal Magic is that little bit better. But it's just Magic Johnson. He's 6'9", has an easy release to green, although it's not the quickest, not the best. You know, normal leaner, great behind the back, really great defensively. Just all the way around, Magic Johnson is absolutely incredible. And at that shooting guard position, we're plugging in Scottie Pippen's Galaxy Opal. And when I say things get crazy, things get crazy. Because... We're going 6-9, 6-8. And then just wait to see where I'm going after this. But I'm just telling y'all right now, Scotty can be that secondary or primary ball handler. So how I'd run my offense is I, you know, run it half through Magic and half through Scotty. It's not like one of them has to be necessarily your primary and one of them necessarily has to be your secondary. Because both of these cards can make plays. Both of them can handle the ball, make plays. And the best part about this backcourt is how truly good it's going to be on the defensive end of the court. Nobody should be scoring in this backcourt. And then at the small four position, dark matter Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, I know a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, what tie? He's better at the power four position. Now, I personally do believe that, but I just believe that the power four position is overall stronger than the small four position. Now, I hope that makes sense to you guys in kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't love Giannis at the three. I personally think he's better at the power four position. But the way I want my lineup to be structured, I have to put Giannis at the three. Now, here's the deal. As far as defensively, absolutely incredible. There's not going to be many better people in the entire game, if anybody, that's going to compete better than Giannis defensively. And I, and I just feel like if, if, if when, you, when you talk about you know coming up with your best squad in the game, he's got to be in there. you got to include Dark Matter Giannis. At that power forward position, plug in a Galaxy Opal Kevin Garnett. Now... One of the free cards you could get if you were a grinder, like me on my no money spent, and he's absolutely incredible. People that didn't get Kevin Garnett are gonna say, you know, he's, it's not that big of a deal. You can just plug in the next best, best power forward. So like the power forward, I would say the next up would be like Bob Nedelecki. So if you don't have KG, that's who I would plug in there to this squad is Bob Nedelecki. But for me, I love KG. I don't love the Lamelo base, but his upper makes it really smooth. And I, I've just really gotten used to him and, and, and kind of grown in appreciation for Kevin Garnett in general. And at the starting center position, the easiest guy to put there is Galaxy Opal Yao Ming. Now, it's crazy right now. I, I, I got to grab my controller because I want to see how many Yao Mings are up on the auction house because I think it could get scary. And there's actually a few up. Now, I'm, uh, and again, I'm kind of surprised that there are a lot up because when I checked yesterday, there really weren't, but... Part of the reason there are more up right now is because people are putting them up right before qual start. They're being smart and knowing that people are going to need Yao last minute, right? They, they are. It's that simple. But Yao, obviously, not only the best center in the game, but the best player in the game, okay? Headline in the backup unit, we got to plug in Ben Simmons. And I will be the first one to say this. I don't love Ben Simmons. He just doesn't shoot the ball well enough or more or consistently enough for me to be that high on him. Now, again, that's my opinion. Still, though, he is 6'11 at the point guard position, defensively an absolute menace. And offensively, he's tough to stop when he is attacking the rim. But one thing I will say is your floor spacing 
It's going to get a little rough out there with Ben Simmons, but I still like the overall card. I still think the card is great and much deserving of that backup point guard position. Backup shooting guard position. This one's really up for debate. I'm plugging in Galaxy up with Vince Carter. I think he, with that Kuzma base, it's not necessarily the quickest, but it's super easy to time into green. I personally think he's incredible. I tie, as long as you can time his release, which you guys should be able to do, there's really no flaws in Vince, right? I mean, the card can shoot, attack at the rim is solid. And again, I like him by Ben Simmons because Vince is kind of that primary ball handler, right? In my starting unit, I wouldn't even say I have a primary ball handler. One through four, all those guys can make plays. With the backup unit, Ben Simmons really can't make that many plays. So Vince Carter is going to have to be kind of your go-to guy that you do run your offense through. At that small four position, guess it's got to be LeBron. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I don't make the rules on, on who is the best small forwards in the game. I don't want you guys to have to spend 400 k on Giannis. I don't want you guys to have to spend 500 I guess Bron is 800 900 k on LeBron. Is Bron worth that price? No. Pick up the pink diamond, Bron. But if you want the best squad in the game, LeBron James has to be a part of it. It's just... It's that simple. He's got to be a part of it. And if you wanted to, you could plug Brown into that starting lineup. Maybe I would, I would, I'm, I might do that. But then the problem is you got to run Ben Simmons with Giannis, which I personally don't like. I will say I love Brown. His relief release with that Corver base is pretty smooth because the Brown up on it is just so nice. If I was to go all out and try to find a, a way to qualify and I, and I was actually eligible, LeBron James would be on my squad. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. At the power four position, E. Jinlian. I know a lot of people might disagree with me on this. I still think this card's elite. I still think E. Jinlian is up there at that power four position. You can say I'm being, you know, free card bias towards E compared to Bob. But what I would say is this. He's seven feet tall. And a lot of people are going to come at me and say, Ty, he's seven feet tall, but he doesn't rebound. He doesn't compete defensively, all these things. Okay, but he's seven feet tall. He is still going to have that player model on the court. His release might not be that quick. I, would, I wouldn't say it's as quick as a guy like Bob Nedelecki's, but it is really easy to time and really easy to green. So, you know, for me, when I, when I put this squad together, it was E or Bob is really what it came down to. And I'm giving that last spot to E. Jinlian. Now, part of the reason is because the center is Dirk. And we've got to find a way to get more height on this bench. It's kind of why I would maybe put Giannis in this group. But I was I was looking for backup centers today. And I was thinking to myself, man, the center position outside of Yao is so weak. Like, it is. Who are you going to play? Candyman? Who are you, I mean, Kareem still? D. -Rock? Who are you going to play at the center position? There's nobody that can rival Dirk at that position. Now, I get it. Dirk's best position isn't center. But when it comes down to it, you've got to get the best guys out there on the court. I don't I don't care whether it's, you know, I don't care whether you think it's Bob. you got to get who you think the best squad is or who the best players are on your court some way. Now, again, you could maybe shuffle your lineup around. So maybe something you want to maybe look into is running Ben Simmons, Vince, uh, and, and Braun in your starting lineup. That way your bench has a little more height. You know, everybody's above 6'8". Rebounding wise might be a little bit easier. That's just maybe something you guys can think about. Another thing is with this starting lineup, you could plug in Bob over KG. And if you did that, you maybe move KG to that bench to maybe help with Dirk. Just some of those other things to kind of keep in the back of your minds and think about for you guys. Because my whole thing is, if you got Yao, you really don't need that much size beside him. So, you know, if you did want to run a guy like Bob Nedelecki, you definitely could do that. Now, my 11 through 13 spots aren't filled. But if you did want to fill them up, point guard wise, you could put a guy like uh, James Harden in there. You need some more offense. James Harden could be a spark. Uh, obviously, at that 12 spot, if you wanted to plug in another shooting guard type of card, Mello or Dr. J would be solid. And then again, Bob Nedelecki would be that 13th spot. But that is going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Never bless death.